Okay, today I'm going to talk to you about an experiment to determine the rate of photosynthesis. So first of all, all I've done is I've written the equation for photosynthesis. There's another video to talk through this more. But just quickly to summarise, it's the process by which plants make their own food in the form of glucose. So in order to find the rate of photosynthesis, we basically remember the rate is just essentially how quickly is this process happening. Um, this experiment is to see how light intensity uh, affects the rate of photosynthesis. So I'm just drawing some of the equipment right now. So what we've essentially got here is we've got a um, conical flask and in the flask we have a bung in the top and here we have some, if I just draw this now, some Canadian pondweed. So this pondweed is just um, in some water right here. So you can see it's beneath the surface of the water. What we've got up here is we have a gas syringe. So this bit of equipment here is a gas syringe. So what happens is during photosynthesis, as we can see from the equation, it releases oxygen. So that oxygen travels up here and is collected in the gas syringe. You can then measure and record the volume of gas which is collected in the gas syringe just here. So our independent variable, the thing that we're changing on purpose, we've seen the effect of, is the distance of white light from the, um, from the plants. So first of all, let's have, let's say we've got a light here. So here's my lamp, I'm giving out white light. And let's say that is 30 centimeters away from the pondweed. Now what we'd have to do is this, we'd have to first of all, leave the light here for a little while for it to acclimatize. And then after a little while, we're going to see how much oxygen is produced. But there's one other detail that I forgot to mention so far. In this water as well, we have a chemical called sodium hydrogen carbonate. Now the reason why we've got this particular thing in the water is it releases carbon dioxide into the solution, into the water rather. So we want carbon dioxide to be released into this water because the pondweed needs carbon dioxide in order to photosynthesize. So by having this in here, it just allows, it gives carbon dioxide for photosynthesis to be able to happen. So this is what we do. We have a stop clock right here as well. And let's say I'm gonna time it for 15 minutes. So what I do is this. I leave the lamp here, I allow it to acclimatize. Then I start my stop clock. I then see how much oxygen is collected in the gas syringe. So as the pondweed photosynthesizes, it releases oxygen. That oxygen goes up here and collects here. So I'm just gonna quickly show this here. So my distance in centimeters and my oxygen produced is gonna be in centimeters cubed. So let's say the first one, the distance was 30 centimeters and let's say in that, um, in that 30, yeah, when it's 30 centimeters away, let's say it collected 15 centimeters cubed of, um, of oxygen, okay? The thing that we have to do next is we have to change the distance of the light. So we're going to move the light closer for our second one. So let's say we put the light here. This time let's say it's only 10 centimeters away. Now when you do this you do several different values for the distance of the light. Now the closer the light the greater the rate of photosynthesis. So we're going to be producing more oxygen per minute or more oxygen per second. So as you can see the oxygen will go, going to go up here and if we, if we had the lamp closer, we'd produce more oxygen. So let's say at 10 centimetres away, we produced, I don't know, 30 centimetres cubed, because we're going to be producing more oxygen. Now let me quickly show you how to find out the rate of oxygen production. 
So we timed it for 15 minutes. Each of these experiments was for 15 minutes. So the first one, if we did 15 centimeters cubed, we just need to divide it by the number of minutes, which would give us one centimeter cubed per minute. This one here, because we had 30 centimeters cubed being produced in 15 minutes, this would be two centimeters cubed per minute. So we can see the closer the lamp, the greater the rate of photosynthesis because we've collected more oxygen. The final things we need to talk about are control variables. So these are the things we need to keep the same to keep it a fair test. So first of all, we want it to be the same temperature. What we could do to control that is to have some kind of water bath. What we also need is the same concentration of this thing here because we want the same amount of carbon dioxide available to the pondweed. And finally, another really important one is the same type and mass of pondweed as well. Because obviously if we had loads more pondweed, we'd produce more oxygen and it wouldn't be a fair test. So that's how we can carry out an experiment to work out the rate of photosynthesis. Thank you.